Welcome to another episode of Beyond the Bake Shop. I am in the city of Oakland near Lake Merritt with my man from Sir Hand Street Food. Sir Hand Street Foods, how y'all doing? You got Sir Hands here? Right here. Sir Hands right here, how y'all doing today? What's going on with you, brother? Thanks for coming out and seeing me, man. Had to Appreciate come out here and show you brother. some love. I mean, Thank I put so up much. on you. I see your lady out here. You got the steak, you got the fried rice. You got the shrimp. I know yeah, we got man. some chicken somewhere. Yeah, lobster and crab. We got lobster and crab. Yeah. Okay, tell me the inspiration. Okay, so um, it was inspired by, you know, I was a real big, big, real big person that was on Japanese steakhouses, Benihana's and all that type Ooh, of stuff. Okay, okay, okay. That. But um, I just felt like the when I, I, when I inspire myself, like when I start my spot, I'm going to have a Japanese soul food infusion. Okay, so Japanese like, soul food infusions. infusions. What's your Hibachi, 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 Hibachi soul food. Hibachi soul food. Hibachi soul food. I like yeah. that. Okay. So that's what uh, I said. I'm going to come with a twist with nobody got. Okay. It's like you come into Benny Hanna's, but you're not going to get the show. Okay. But you're going to get a nice, healthy plate. Okay, 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 okay. You understand me? I'm with a real you. bowl season. I you know, see southern season on that on that rice. Okay. Real Every every one of my meats tastes, got totally different tastes. Okay. So you come get a chicken and shrimp and steak from me, you're going to okay. get your steak. Gonna taste just like how that steak tastes. Okay. You're gonna get that chicken. That chicken gonna taste exactly how that chicken's supposed to taste. Okay. And that shrimp gonna taste exactly how that shrimp's supposed to taste. All of them got different seasons. Okay. And it's and this love. It's cooked with love, man. You know, me and my wife, that's her hands. She back there. What's up, her hands? Out yeah. there. And the Sir brand is her hands street food. Her hands street food. I yeah. love it. That's how we do so, it. So I I know like like KFC, he got his 11 herbs and spices. Tell me about what's going on going into your steak, what's going into your shrimp. Tell me about those spices. What you what you doing with? As you can see right here, yeah, you know, that's see a lot going on in there. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot I mean, going on there. That's that's every that's, square inch. That's, that's the full season part about it. To be sitting back with my wife, I was like, babe, I'm gonna have a sound shop. Okay. I'm gonna name it Sir Hands. Okay. It's gonna have the same symbol right here. Okay. With okay. The hands, with the chef. Okay. But it's gonna be his hands gonna be on a sandwich. Okay. Okay. So it started with a sandwich. Yeah, but it did, you know, as time went by and I started really thinking more, thinking more. And that's when I got to that Abaki Soul Food movement. Okay. A real new Jack Swing, really different, okay. you okay. feel me? Because everybody got a sandwich spot. Everybody got a sandwich spot. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm But saying? nobody got a Sir Hands. Nobody got not, a Sir not, not right here in Oakland, especially. No. And nobody's serving hibachi soul food either. Nobody's serving hibachi nobody. soul food. And I got a homemade garlic butter I make myself. Okay. Homemade. Tell me about your background that kind of got you here as it pertains to the hibachi soul food. Okay, so believe it or not, like growing up, I grew up in the fast lane and, mm -hmm. um, Got in some trouble, did mm -hmm. some things, you know what I'm saying, that I have no business doing, and I, mm -hmm. and I had to get structure in my life, which is called probation. Okay. So when you're on probation, sometimes you got to sit yourself down. That's real. Or somebody going to sit you down. That's real. So um, I was home with my wife. You know, she was doing a lot of the working at the time. Mm -hmm. I was at home with my son. We just had a new baby okay. at the time. And um, I used to sit and watch Food Network all day. Okay. Yeah, you know I, what I mean? That's one of my most comfortable places in life is in the kitchen. Okay. Okay. And I okay. had to find that out by okay. going through different avenues in life. Like, okay. you know? Okay. And once I found that out, it was it was a wrap. Tell me tell me what that feeling is like when you see somebody, you box it up, you know you put that fire in it, you know you put your herbs, your spices, you put your your soul into it. And you see somebody, they step over there, they dig it into it, and they just like, mmm. This is this is like tell me about that feeling. All right, all right. Only way I can explain it. Yeah, yeah. Tell me about that feeling. Only way I can explain it is like if you was Michael Jordan and you hit the game winning shot, oh, this is like okay. Or right, if you right. was on the 49ers, you was Dwight <laughs> Clark and you caught the catch. That's how I feel. Like, or you I, was I feel Mike you. Tyson and you just knocked somebody out. I feel That's how I feel as a chef, man. I feel you. Touch them. I feel you. I feel like, you. Yeah, like it just it's, it's the it's the best feeling in the world. Okay. Ask when, my wife. When did you open? Tell me I when opened you this place September 6, 2000, 2000, right, baby? 2020, right? Yeah, September 6, right? Mm -hmm. And um. That night, man, I ain't gonna lie, I cried all the way home. Okay. And my house was at least 45 minutes okay. away from where I set up at. Okay. And because I couldn't believe it. Like, I, like people really bought my food. Oh my God, they really loved it. They really. That's real. And it was life changing. Yeah. I mean, 
Okay. I let I let my I let my customers speak for how good that's my real. food is. That's right. That's right. I mean, when you know, sometimes I might go there and be like, you know, this is good, this is there, but I really like it. So I always like I don't never want to push nothing on them. Be like, hey, get a five way bus down. Yeah. Or, and then I'll be like, man, try, try the three-way. I got three when the three-way product, When the product is quality, it speaks yeah. for itself. Exactly. So I see you got the pop-up right now. Is the vision to have a, a restaurant? Is it have multiple pop-ups pop -ups around the city? What's the what's the vision? I want to, um, in the near future, I do want to lease a few kitchens. Okay. Before it's like just a Sirhan's place, probably not. I no. probably lease a few kitchens. I want to keep it moving, man. I like keep doing moving. festivals. I like doing Juneteenth, okay. Foodie Lands. That's my, like, okay. things like that. San Mateo County Fairs, okay, okay. Um, Alameda County Fairs, okay, okay. Things like that, like I'm doing the Juneteenth, okay. This Saturday. Oh, okay. Where, so, where, where's the Juneteenth going? In be? San Francisco, I'm doing that one right okay. there. Yeah, That's so cool. they got like almost five thousand plus people. So in the Juneteenth, on an event like that, you know, how how, how much how much how many three ways? What we what, we, what kind of product we moving on a day like that? I'm coming with all five meats, man. You come with all five meats, yeah, and, okay. Um, as you can see, I got these grills right here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have rice. I'm gonna have chicken. I'm gonna have shrimp. I'm gonna mm -hmm. have lobster. I'm gonna have crab. Okay. I'm trying to sell out. Okay. I'm trying to sell at least seven hundred plates. Seven hundred plates. Okay. Yeah, easy. My man selling out. Gonna yeah. sell seven hundred plates. He said, sell 700 and he said he plates. sell out every time. Yeah. This is Mr. Sellout right here. That's he sell right. out every time. Brother, yeah. he ain't let nobody get past him without giving him one of these beautiful things right here. Okay. You okay. I like you? that. I like that. So you gonna come see me? You walk in the jewel teeth. So I hand you that. Shut up. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it makes sense. I mean, sir, I, first of all, I like Sir Hand Street Food. I like it. I like everything you got going on here. You got the picture right here. I saw your garlic butter sauce, too. I can't wait to have some of it. Uh -huh. It looked like, mmm. I mean, it look, your pictures make you look like that you want to lick the screen, bro. Yeah, man. Maybe you want to lick the paper. It, um, it's like a scratch and sniff right there. Nah, also, yeah, we, yeah, my man, Sir Hand Street Food, you know we had to come out here and bless you. With a box of these butter pecan bake shop cookies. Yeah, man. Me so and my you, wife been drooling all over y'all Instagram, man. <laughs> so we got, we got. I got my eye on this one right that's here. That's that banana pudding. It's like y'all make sure y'all go check them out on their Instagram too, man. <laughs> it's going we crazy. got a little, we got a little bit of everything. That's that. We got a uh, walnut brownie right here. Uh -huh. This is one of our seasonal flavors, as well. Our seasonal flavor is our uh, dark chocolate walnut right here. I'm crushing go it. hard, dark chocolate walnut. You got a dark chocolate sea salt. That's this right here. I want to talk to her hands, too. <laughs> I love seeing y'all here together, working together, doing y'all thing. Like, this, this, this is probably the, the prettiest sight I done seen all week, all month. Like, for real, for real. Oh, that's, that's like, nice, for real, man. for real, seeing y'all working together, man, that's, it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing. Did, 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 you, did you inspire any of the recipes, any of the seasonings, or you just, you just, just helping the execute? Is, the seasoning is me. Oh, okay, so her is involved with the seasoning. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I dig that. She the best cook, man. She the best cook. I feel you. I feel you in terms of like I got that. the vision. And okay, then I pass it to her. Okay, is she that alley oop? You thought alley oop, but she just she just finished it for you, huh? Yeah, man. That's what that, that's what a good team is all about. Them complimentary skills. Yeah, you know what I mean. It, it looked tender. How you, you get it so tender? Up memo, bro? Bro, okay, that's real. <laughs> hey, hey, she can't tell me everything. I said, how you get it so tender? She said, I can't tell you. I feel you on that. There's things I can't tell you, too. So it's all good. I'm going to tell you, bro. You got to buy the expensive cut. It's good meat. Uh, you, can't, you, can't, you can't go to, uh, yeah, you can't you can't go to the 99 cent store. That's all it's about, man. And, and get some sorry meat. Yeah, man. I feel you, fam. I feel you. You got to put put that Fine. A1 quality and you want Fine that A1 result. Butcher, man. That's going to give you some good meat, man. That's real talk. That's I feel all you. it's about. I feel you on that, bro. People be trying to put too much on it sometimes. Like, yeah. Don't get it twisted. I got some stuff that I ain't telling nobody, but yeah. a lot of this stuff be good quality. Good man. quality, bro. Good quality, not cutting corners. Good quality meat. I mean, it just, God already did his thing, huh? The meat is already what it is. He already did his thing. Just don't mess it up. 